All right, so just to kick things off, a little bit of a Bob Marley type vibe going on, and I'm a okay with that. I'm still high on the fact that it was 55 degrees out this morning, which was super nice for me to film outside versus being trapped inside like I am a lot of times when it's really hot out. And we're not talking about a Nike or a Jordan today. No, see, long before there was Nike, there was a New Balance, which means long before there was Phil Knight or Bill Bowerman, there was actually William J. Riley. When I say long before Nike, I mean long before Nike, like 1906 is actually when New Balance, you know, came into the picture and they focused heavily on comfort and arch support, which is something someone like me needs because I actually have fallen arches and quite flat feet. I've mentioned that in a lot of my videos and that's what they focused on. And they were always a brand for the people when it came to outfitting feet. And they focused heavily on those who were on their feet all day like retail workers or firefighters or police officers and yes their tagline was hey find a new balance for your feet pretty catchy i would say So in 1938, they put out their very first running sneaker, and quite frankly, they've never looked back. But in 1976, we finally saw the N logo, and that's exactly what New Balance is known for today. And then if you fast forward a little while later, you got the 574, and that is a model that many people still love to this day. Like, it's still one of their best-selling models. Now, back then, it was truly marketed as a sneaker you could do everything in, but specifically run and be comfortable and now people equally use it as both uh, an athletic sneaker, but also just as a lifestyle sneaker. Now, I'm not one personally to work out or run in New Balance. I actually prefer them for lifestyle choices. However, you can do both. And the update with the 5740 is hands down one of the best pickups I've made for 2021. So let's finally unbox the brand new New Balance 5740 in the Munsell White colorway. That's exactly what it will read on the website. So Munsell White with vanilla, and it comes in the traditional New Balance box, which is that dark gray, and then the silver NB. Again, I would suggest go down half a size. So I went with a five and a half in men's, which is equivalent to a women's seven. I'm a true seven and a half in women's or a six in men's however new balance tends to run a little bit larger and we'll discuss that later on but once you pull back the paper this is such an amazing pair now i don't think stock photos do this sneaker justice especially when you look at the materials on the upper and how much attention to detail actually went into this so you have a hairy suede but you will also have leather and a mix of mesh to give it breathability but also a lot of just the, the sneaker is dynamic up top i don't know any other way to say this and you can see by the variation of materials on the top here and so you'll have this suede is more in that traditional tan colorway but the big bold in actually has a holographic outline i didn't know this and i didn't know that it was that bright so that's a really nice surprise and on the back it looks like a synthetic patent leather that uh, has a scale design to it and then on the back it actually does take more of a you know a reference from 80s and 90s models that are a little bit bulkier the same with the midsole so if you take a look at the midsole here it is dual tone so you have that vanilla reference in the actual color code but also white and it does give that aged appearance and then if we flip it to the outer sole you have that translucent uh outer sole design and then you have NB there, but quite a bit of traction. I don't think you'll have an issue in terms of slipping or even if you chose to run in this sneaker. Okay, let's actually take a break from the unboxing to highlight the artist commission to give us this really bold, fun, and energetic print slash graphic you see on the inner sock liner, but then also for the insole, and that's Zoe Lam, which I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. She's a Hong Kong-based artist, and you can see tons of her work 
whether it's on commission projects like this. She's also done Snoopy caricatures for Lane Crawford. And now you see this on a New Balance collection, not only just the sneaker, but an anorak jacket. You can find it on tanks, tees, and shorts. So what exactly is this print? Because you may have been a little confused, but no, I love the fact that New Balance chose to not rely just on the traditional rainbow flag and print. No, instead they went outside the box. And I love that when you think about it, if love is love, love is kind. I really think that New Balance went down the road of, hey, let's welcome kindness into the collection for Pride 2021. And so if you're not aware, Zoe has actually created this parallel universe and it's based on these really fun, positive, optimistic caricatures that you're able to see on the actual print and in the graphic itself. And I love this world that we're just kind of brought into with the design. And again, you can find it all over Hong Kong. You can find it uh, again on other different prints, traditional uh, paintings, murals, buildings. But you'll see a lot of brands start to use this for more than just traditional art, but a way to tell a more evolved story. And I'm a big fan of it. Jumping back into the review of the sneaker itself, you see on the tongue, you have the MB logo on a heart and underneath it looks as if it actually does have a lot of the colors of the traditional pride flag. And then on the inner side of the tongue tag, you see the intelligent choice. And here you can view the bold and vibrant print by Zoe. And again, it really tells a story of these optimistic, positive characters in this parallel universe. And you see that they are wearing New Balance kicks on their feet. So this will run the entire length of the actual insole in itself. And then for the sock liner as well. So you get a subtle exterior for the upper, but also a story that's told on the inside. And it's really about love and being positive and being kind. And that was the message for this year, 2021 Pride by New Balance. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ Two Shoes Change. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in to another video. If you're brand new and like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I truly appreciate it. Two Shoes Crew, you guys are amazing. Thank you for tuning in to another video and I'm super excited to have this pair in hand but also to show you and I'm just going to caution you now if you're a smaller size they're starting to fly off of New Balance's website so take the time to pick this up now uh, before we dive any further I actually just want to again applaud New Balance on their 2021 Pride collection because it's not what you would traditionally think of as a Pride collection but it's very uh, gender fluid it's still very neutral and it doesn't just scream oh this can only be worn for the month of june like no this is something you can absolutely throw on any time and the reason this specific 5740 model spoke to me is because of how subtle the exterior and the upper is it, like it allows me to coordinate it with so many other things in my closet as you guys know a lot of the essentials or other items or brands i may wear they really do operate in muted tones whether it's the creams or off-whites or sales and grays and olive greens i just think it flows really well and then to add something dynamic to the outfit you have the inner liner of the sneaker that i think will attract attention anytime i wear it uh so with that being said i picked this up again off new balance 109 dollars. i don't think you can beat that especially when we think of what we pay for other sneakers and then we just don't seem to get the same attention to detail or the mix of materials that you get on this pair so just keep that in mind there is a lot of value here for this sneaker and it is widely available still in different sizing so just go ahead take yourself on there the link is in the description to possibly pick up a pair and this is part of a whole collection i just haven't purchased anything else from the collection i was this close this close to actually picking up the anorak jacket in the all over print but instead actually broke away from uh 
the whole the jacket had on me and it's and i have other items that are on the way that are more summer friendly i guess you could say uh but nonetheless great collection so let's move into sizing so with sizing on this pair i chose to go down half a size from my typical size now to give you a reference point i picked up my usual size which is a six in the jordan ma2 and that fits extremely comfortable however new balance has a tendency to run really wide but then also so long and I kept that in mind I actually watched Sean Go's video on the 5740 before I picked this up and he said hey go down half a size if you don't want it kind of you know slipping on and off your foot and I'm really glad I took to that advice so I went with a men's five and a half which also equals a women's seven and it fits perfect so for me I would just say to everyone go down half a size whatever your normal size is and I think that will give you the perfect fit but as soon as you put this shoe on it's extremely comfortable. So I know someone will ask, yes, this is a pair I think you can wear all day. It's a pair I will certainly wear when standing in the store on a Saturday for hours working um, at Kids Foot Locker at the store. But I think anytime I'm, I expect to be on my feet or I just want a comfortable pair to throw on, again, that offers something neutral but still fun, I'll throw on this pair. And when we look at how I decided to style it, again, it was a cooler morning and I really took advantage of that because you don't get that a whole lot in the summer. Um, so you guys will get three looks here. Now, one plays up to the upper a little bit more with the fact that it's that aged midsole. It's, well, it's a dual tone midsole, but there is that aged midsole there plus white. So I have on white tighter denim, actually jeggings, and then the essentials, the Fear of God essentials tank. And this is in the off-white colorway. Now, in my mind, I thought to pair this with the Richie Lee Collection denim jacket, but I, uh, I forgot the jacket by the time I got to where I was going to shoot on site and I didn't feel like driving back. So uh, no jacket. However, if you see an outfit grid posted on Instagram at talks.with.tj, just know there will be a jacket. And then for the second outfit, I'm actually wearing the shirt still right now. So this is one of the New Balance shirts I picked up from eBay. I was lucky enough to find like a collector that had quite a few like items. It was a whole New Balance store. And hey, check ebay as well if you would like to find some items that are new balance for clothing that isn't gonna like break the bank they had a lot of great deals so this is a shirt that says the intelligent choice which is also featured on the inner tag of a lot of new balance pairs so you have this this shirt and then you also have the richie lee collection this is the four pocket cargo pants in the desert sand colorway and then of course you have on the brand new 5740 from the pride collection very laid back very comfortable and everything is essentially neutral because let's be olive let's be honest olive is essentially neutral and that's what the desert sand kind of looks like and i get it i'm getting my, my words a little twisted up here but olive black and a white and sale sneaker so yeah i would go ahead and say it's a pretty neutral fit and then for the third look same shirt just different color this time it's in white and i have on american eagle denim now these i believe they're considered they might be mom jeans. I'm not 100% certain, but I think they are mom jeans. Ladies, I will link them below just because they're one of my favorite pairs of denim that I have now. And I just thought this was a very loose, casual, relaxed look. I love the oversized distressing in the pants because it allows for air movement you to breathe i still want to wear denim even in the summer that's not always the smartest thing but i still want to get away with it which you can uh if you have like again a super distressed pair and then the new balance t-shirt and a clean pair of 5740s on foot so hopefully you guys enjoyed the variety of looks here but also i was happy to be able to get out now you may ask why don't you do a lot of b-roll and shots outside listen when you're a one woman team, okay, there's a lot that goes into taking all of your fit somewhere, being on location, and you have to be aware of your surroundings, okay? I would like to stay safe at all times. So that's just something that I have to always keep in mind. And a lot of times it's easier if I have a lot of outfit changes to go through and I'm doing this on my own to just handle it, you know, inside. That's why I have a studio backdrop within my apartment. But it was nice enough today that I said, hey, we're just gonna make it work. And I enjoyed being outside. I enjoyed getting these shots and you can find a lot of the pictures up on Instagram at talks.with.tj. Um, I actually posted quite a few of these early on Twitter 
underscore talks with TJ. So if you're not already following me on any of those, please feel free. Is the 5740 something now on your radar? I know there are a lot of times where you people say, hey, I didn't even know that this sneaker dropped or I really wasn't looking at it, but maybe this colorway or your breakdown of it or how you would style it changed my mind. And if so, that's great. I love introducing people to pairs that I think work well and may add some value to your closet and your feet as well. So please make sure that you comment below Below, your thoughts on the 5740 specifically in this pride collection colorway that quite honestly is one of the i would just say the best <laughs> pride sneaker to drop all of 2021 i'm a really big fan of them and i plan on rocking these a lot so thank you again so much as always act your age not your shoe size peace out 